Is there anyone out there willing to voluntarily get the coronavirus? Believe it or not, that answer is yes. Jeff Eliasoff introduces us to an Alabama man who has signed up to do exactly that. His name is John Gentle, but he can be tough. I served in the military. I have taken risks for, for the greater good. I would be willing to do it again for the better of society. Army veteran, Vestavia Hills businessman, and father of four, John has signed up with One Day Sooner, a grassroots group, including scientists, for a possible trial run of a future coronavirus vaccine. In a so-called challenge trial, a first group would be injected with a potential vaccine. A second group would get a placebo. Then, after some time passed, both groups would be challenged, intentionally contaminated with the virus. The risks are great, but might well speed up a vaccine for everybody else. It's important to me that this this type of trial is done, not just for me or my family personally, but for the better of humanity. It's all hypothetical now with ethical questions being raised about the risks involved. But 20,000 people from 100 countries have put their names on the volunteer list because like John, they sense true urgency. Every day that is shaved off of this outbreak could save seven to 8,000 lives. And if he's not called this time, John who's discussed this with wife and children will be ready if another novel disease threatens humankind. A gene mutation linked to dementia increases the risk of developing a severe case of COVID-19. That's according to new research. Previous studies have shown dementia patients are three times more likely to get a severe case of the virus. And while part of that may be due to exposure in nursing homes, it seems genes may also play a role. Scientists found people with the so-called dementia gene had double the risk of severe COVID-19 compared to those without the mutation. Do you have picky eaters in your home? Turns out you may be part of the problem. A new study out of U of M followed 400 kids for five years and found picky eating habits started very early. Researchers say many of the tactics parents use, like demanding kids eat certain things or restricting foods as punishment, were linked to some of the pickiest eaters over time. Parents are encouraged to take the pressure off and introduce new foods early on.